Okay, good evening. I'll call this meeting to order. Start off with the roll call, please. Council President Corbin. Here. Council Member Perez. Here. Council Member Vaughn. Here. Council Member Benedetti. Here. Council Member O'Halloran. Here. Council Member McIrvin. Here. And Council Member Prince. Here. Roll call, Mr. Mayor, all present. Okay, tonight we are starting off the public hearing. And we have, I believe, Amanda Astrin here. Yes, thank you. Good evening, Mr. Mayor, Council President, and um, Council Members. My name is Amanda Astrin in the Community and Economic Development Division. And tonight I am doing a public hearing on the Chelan Avenue um, Northeast uh, Street vacation for the Renton School District. There we go. Okay, the location is in the Highlands um, planning area and neighborhood area. It is uh, just west of Duval. Um, it is, whoops, wrong way. Come on, PowerPoint. There we go. Uh, the updated petition came in on September 24th. Uh, the school district does own all of the adjacent properties. There is a request for 10,234 square feet. Um, that was presented over or dedicated to King County through multiple deeds. Uh, the streets were annexed to the city of Renton in 2005 with this area. The petition is in conjunction with a proposed um, new elementary school for this Renton School District. This is part of the school development. The street area that they're asking to be vacated is in the development of where the school will be and also some of the other improvements. During the um, development process, we will get other utility easements and all the easements necessary for this for this city. Uh, this is a picture of the area. The um, blue dashed line is the school property. The red um, highlighted area are the two areas that are requested for the street vacation. As you can see, it's in the middle of the property. So we did uh, circulate this request to inside and outside agencies. Uh, no objections were raised to this vacation. Uh, there may be additional easements that are required during development. Zayo does have a line in that area, but we'll work with the owner to get an easement of the proposed new location. The Community and Economic Development Department recommends that council approve the request to vacate this property um, with the following conditions, dedicate the 10,234 square feet of Chelan Avenue Northeast, and also provide an appraisal for the vacation area. Next steps uh, is to hear public testimony tonight, if there are any. Um, after the close of the public hearing, the council can approve uh, with conditions or deny the vacation. Um, if council does approve, the petitioner will be required to submit an appraisal. And at that time, we will come back to council um, with a recommendation for compensation and allow for council to set the amount for the street vacation. Wrong way again. Um, and that is all for the uh, street vacation presentation. All right, thank you, Amanda. Do we have any questions? All right, Jason, do we have any correspondence? I have no oh, correspondence. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Sir. Yes, Councilmember McGurban, um, I see you raised your hand. Yes, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Sorry, I raised my actual hand versus my virtual hand, so. <laughs> A uh, question for Amanda, um, looking at the map, I'm noticing that there's a, um, a gap between what's being vacated and what's not. Uh, it looks like that street's there. Is there a reason that there wouldn't be the full street all the way through? There actually isn't street right of way dedicated in that area. Um, the street does continue, but it's not dedicated right of way. So there's no need to vacate it. Fantastic, thank you. That, that, I assume there was a logical explanation, but I was like, that'd be very odd if there was a street left in the middle of the property still, so. Yeah. Yeah, this one took a little back and forth to make sure we knew exactly where the right of way was that we wanted to vacate. All right, thank you. All right, any other questions? No questions, we have no correspondence. Let's just wish to the council. Oh, Mr. Mayor. sir. Oh, I believe there was oh, somebody yeah. signed up to speak for this, sir. Oh, there is. Okay. Mr. Mayor, we did have one person sign up uh, in advance, and that's Nick Van Valkenburg. However, I don't see Nick in attendance tonight. Okay. And that's all I have. 
All right, thank you. Uh, Councilmember Halloran, you had your hand raised. No? Mr. Chair? Okay. Yes, Councilmember Prince. I move we close the public hearing. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Councilmember Prince, seconded by Councilmember Gervin, that we close the public hearing. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, the public hearing is closed. Thank you. Next up is the administrative report. All right, good evening, everyone. The Emergency Feeding Program, SOS, in partnership with the City of Renton, will host a free lunch event for the unsheltered and those residents with food insecurities on Tuesday, November 23rd at 300 Rainier Avenue North from 1230 to 2 p.m. Food and drinks, personal hygiene kits, cleaning supplies, and socks will be available. Parking is located on the west side of the Renton Airport, north of the intersection of Rainier Avenue North and Airport Way. As part of Small Business Saturday, Renton Farmers Market invites you to our first Holidays Farmers Market on Saturday, November 27th, from 12 to 4 p.m. at Piazza Park, located at South 3rd Street and Burnett Avenue South. Vendors will have fresh produce, honey, ciders, salsa, hummus, wine, meats and cheeses, and more. The SNAP Market Match Incentive Program for SNAP and PEBT shoppers is available, which is a dollar-for-dollar -dollar match for up to $40 per day to be used for fresh produce. COVID-19 safety protocols recommend masks for shoppers and ask you to maintain physical distancing between other shoppers and vendors. Take advantage of 10 hours of free parking at the City Parking Garage, entrance located off South 2nd Street between Burnett and Logan Avenues, and just one block from the market. You can shop all of downtown Renton and enjoy Small Business Saturday festivities all day long. The city is seeking applicants to fill nine positions on the new Equity Commission, including a youth representative aged 18 to 25. Apply now through Tuesday, November 30th, for consideration to serve on the commission. Please visit the City of Renton website to apply. All Renton residents and businesses are, business owners are eligible. Help us prevent local residential street flooding by monitoring catch basins near your home and keep them clear of leaves and other debris. Street sweepers are dispatched daily to clean up debris along major arterials. Information about preventative street maintenance, traffic impact projects, and road closures happening this week can be found at rentonwa.gov forward slash traffic. All projects are weather permitting and unless otherwise noted, streets will always remain open. That is the report. All right, thank you. See, next up we have audience comment. Do we have anyone signed up today for audience comment? Mr. Mayor, we don't have anyone signed up to speak uh, during this portion of the agenda. However, it does look like uh, Nick Van Balkenberg has uh, signed on. So if we can allow him to speak, we... Yes, yes, we, I think we can allow him to speak uh, during audience comment. Okay, uh, Nick, go ahead. Hello, everybody. I was curious, did you guys already talk about the Chelan Avenue easement for the uh, school? Uh, yes, we did, sir. Um, as the community that sits right with that Chelan Avenue, I'm the president of the Homeowners Association and curious uh, what's going to happen in the middle of that road? You said 30 feet over. Are you guys looking to clear that part of the property? Um, I can, if, if you want to um, let the council know what your concerns are, I could have staff get back in touch with you um, once you're done with your audience comment here. Yeah, so my, my concerns are on that side, would that be the, uh, the east side of the property on Schwann and 12th right there? We've got a tree line that's there that's, you know, set in privacy for our homes. My concern is that you're going to level all those trees out and then also put a road right up to our fence because that would be I think at our fence is 31 feet. Uh, we just want to maintain our privacy as you know they work on this project. Okay. Don't know. Did we lose Amanda? Is this something Amanda can speak to, or should we have uh, somebody get back in touch? Yeah, I can speak to it. Um, Nick, okay. we can definitely reach out. I believe we have your contact information and show you the overall site plan of the school. Um, the the road is going to that is where some of the um, like the outdoor um, imp improvements are happening in that area where the, the vacation is happening. So we'll, we can get you a site plan that information is all public and I can get a link to that information so you can see the overall plan. I would like that very much. Okay, yep. Thanks. All right. That's all I got. 
Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, you guys take care. All right. Next up, we have the consent agenda. There are nine items uh, on the consent agenda for council consideration. Uh, Mr. Mayor? Yes, Council President Corman. Uh, at this time, I'd like to ask if any council members would like any of these nine items removed for individual consideration. Okay, seeing none, I move approval of the consent agenda as published. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Council President Corman, seconded by Council Member McGurvin. That the council uh, concern with the consent agenda. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. We are on to unfinished business. Council President Corman. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Council Member Perez. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Council Member Van. Uh, no unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Councilmember Benedetti. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Councilmember O'Halloran. Yes, Mr. Mayor, the Finance Committee has eight committee reports this evening. Uh, the first report is regarding claims and payroll vouchers. Uh, the Finance Committee approves the following payments. Accounts payable, total payment, $5,363,862.15 for a number of vouchers and payroll withholding vouchers and three wire transfers. Payroll total payment of $1,564,772 even for payroll vouchers, including 591 direct deposits and 10 checks. This is the October 16th through 31st pay period. Uh, Kidder Matthews vouchers totaling $34,909.19 and municipal court vouchers uh, totaling $34,678 even. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Council Member Halloran. I move the Council concur with the committee report. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Council Member Halloran, seconded by Council Member Prince, that the Council concur with the committee report. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. Okay, the next report is regarding a grant for the Family First Community Center. The Finance Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to accept the Washington State Department of Commerce 2019 Local and Community Project Grant number 19966-19-020 in the amount of $1,455,000 to reimburse construction costs at the Family First Community Center. Uh, the committee further recommends that the mayor and city clerk be authorized to execute the grant. Mr. Mayor. Council Member Halloran another step closer to the realization of this great city asset. And with that, I move the council concur with the Finance Committee committee report. Second. It's been moved by Council Member Halloran, second by Council Member Prince, that the council concur with the Finance Committee report. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. Yeah, the next report is uh, regarding the renewal of the Kaiser Permanente uh, health care contract. The Finance Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to approve the 2022 health care contract with Kaiser Permanente for active employees and left one retirees and authorizes the mayor and city clerk to sign the implementing documents when ready. The contract cost has increased 5.2%, a total cost of, of about $177,000 for 2000. 2022. Mr. Mayor. Councilmember Halloran. I move the council concur with the Finance Committee report. Second. It's been moved by Councilmember Halloran, second by Councilmember Prince, that the council concur with the Finance Committee report. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Okay, the next report is regarding the renewal of the health care management administrators contract for 2022. Uh, the finance committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to approve the 2022 health care contract with HMA health care management administrators and authorizes the mayor and city clerk to sign the implementing documents when ready. The contract is unchanged except for an overall 3% rate increase with a total cost of $343,980 for approximately 630 members. 
that's 560 active members and 70 retirees. Mr. Mayor, Council Member Halloran. I move the Council concur with the Finance Committee report. Second. It's been moved by Council Member O'Halloran, second by Council Member Prince. Does the Council concur with the Finance Committee report? Any discussion? All in, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. Okay, the next report is regarding the Municipal Court Reorganization. The Finance Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to approve the request to reorganize the Municipal Court by reclassifying the Court Services Director, uh, Step M38, to ju Judicial Administrative Officer, Step M49, restructure the Probation Department by retitling it the Office of Court Services and Supervision and reclassifying the incumbent Probation Officer at uh, pay grade A18 to Case Manager, uh, A21 Step E, and adding an additional Case Manager uh, pay grade A21 position, effective January 1st, 2022. Mr. Mayor. Council Member Halloran. Does this reorganization is in support of our community court program. And so with that, I'd like to move that we, the council concur with the Finance Committee Committee Report. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Council Member O'Halloran, second by Council Member Prince, that the council concur with the Finance Committee Report. Any discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Okay, the next report is regarding the non-represented positions, salary review and adjustments. The Finance Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to adjust the salary grades of the non-represented positions listed below effective January 1st, 2022. The salary increases for the 14 classifications were established after an extensive salary study and review of over 13 comparable cities data. Uh, one, an application support manager to grade M37, building official to grade M36, communications manager to grade M29, development engineering manager to grade M36, facilities manager to grade M31, HR benefits manager to grade M34, HR labor manager to grade M38, IT director to grade M41, maintenance managers for streets, fleet, and wastewater to grade M32, parks maintenance manager to grade M31, planning manager to grade M36, risk manager to grade M34, transportation managers in operations, design, and planning to grade M37, and utilities engineering manager to grade M37. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Council Member Halloran. I'd like to move that the council concur with the Finance Committee report, and thank you, Jason. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Council Member Halloran, second by Council Member Prince. Does the council concur with the Finance Committee report? Any discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. Thank yeah. you. The next report from finance is the salary increase for non-represented salary group for 2022. The Finance Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to approve the 2022 non-represented salary increase to 4% over the 2021 salary table. Mr. Mayor. Council Member Halloran. I move Council concur with the Finance Committee report. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Council Member Halloran, second by Council Member Prince. Does the council concur in the finance committee report? Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Okay, the final finance committee report is regarding reclassifications for 2022. The Finance Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to reclass the positions listed below effective January 1st, 2022. Funds to implement these reclassifications will be provided in a budget adjustment in the first quarter of 2022. One Accounting Supervisor in Finance, one FTE, to Utility Account Supervisor, grade A22. Water Meter Technician in Public Works uh, Maintenance Services, one FTE, to Water Meter System Specialist, grade A11. Civil Engineer 3 in Public Works Utility Systems, Public Works Transportation, and CED Planning Division, 23 FTEs, titles unchanged, uh, grade A33. 
civil engineer two and public works utility systems, two full-time uh, equivalent, two FTEs, uh, title unchanged, grade A30. Principal civil engineer and public works transportation systems, one FTE, title unchanged, grade A36. Uh, community program coordinator and police administrative services, three FTEs, to communications and community engagement coordinator, uh, grade PN67. Administrative secretary one and public works transportation systems, uh, two FTEs, to engineering specialist two, grade A19. City Attorney Civil Division Paralegal, one FTE, to Senior Paralegal, Grade A22. Assistant Development Engineering Manager and CED Planning, one FTE, to Construction Manager, Grade M34. Engineering Specialist 3, GIS, and Public Works Utility Systems, one FTE, to GIS Analyst 3, Grade A26. Transportation Maintenance Manager and Public Works Transportation Systems, one FTE, to Intelligent Transportation Systems and Maintenance Manager, grade M37, and finally, Senior Service Desk Technician in Executive Services IT Division, three FTEs, to Client Technology Services Specialist 2, uh, grade A19. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Councilmember Halloran. I move the Council concur with the Finance Committee report. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Councilmember O'Halloran, second by Councilmember Prince. Does the Council concur with the Finance Committee report? Any discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. Thank you. And Thank I want to say all these uh, wage adjustments um, are extremely important. It's, um, it makes sure that we are competitive in the labor market and also shows our staff that we value their um, their service here. So thank you all. Okay, next up we have Council Member McGurban. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I have no unfinished business today. Council Member Prince. The Planning and Development Committee has a committee report. Okay, this report from the Planning and Development Committee is regarding the Urban Forest Management Plan work plan and calendar. The Planning and Development Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to initiate the public planning process for the Urban Forest Management Plan 2022 through 2032, uh, UMFP for short, and direct staff to return to council with a recommended course of action to adopt the UMFP after completion of the public planning process. Mr. Mayor. Council Mayor Prince. I move that council concur with the Planning and Development Committee committee report. Second. It's been moved by Councilmember Prince, seconded by Councilmember Perez. Did the council concur with the Planning and Development Committee report? Any discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Okay, we are on to legislation. We have one resolution and three ordinances for second and final reading tonight. And the resolution is regarding the uh, Rainier Grady Junction sub area plan. A resolution of the City of Renton, Washington adopting the Rainier Grady Junction uh, TOD sub area plan. Mr. Mayor? Yes, Council Mayor Prince. I move the resolution be adopted as read. Second. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Council Member Prince. Second by Councilor McGurban, that the resolution be adopted as read. Any discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. Okay, the first ordinance for second and final reading is regarding uh, 2022 King County wastewater rates. An ordinance of the City of Renton, Washington, amending Section 8515 of the Renton Municipal Code, clarifying city sewer rates for 2021 and 2022, establishing the King County Metro Wastewater Pass-Through Rate for 2022, providing for severability, and establishing an effective date. Uh, Mr. Mayor. Yes, Council Mayor Benedetti. I move we adopt the ordinance as read. Second. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Council Mayor Benedetti, seconded by Council Member O'Halloran, that the council adopt the ordinance as read. This requires a roll call. Council President Corman. Aye. Council Member Perez. Aye. Council Member Vaughn. 
Aye. Council Member Benedetti. Aye. Council Member O'Halloran. Aye. Council Member McIrvin. Aye. Council Member Prince. Aye. Roll call, Mr. Mayor. All ayes. Motion carries. Thank you. Okay, the next ordinance for second and final reading is regarding business license uh, uh, amendment. An ordinance of the City of Renton, Washington, amending Section 553 of the Renton Municipal Code, amending business license regulations to exempt certain residential landlords from business license registration requirements, clarifying application review process, and the city's authority to deny licenses, providing for severability, and establishing an effective date. Mr. Mayor? Yes, Councilmember Prince. I move the ordinance be adopted as read. Second. It's been moved by Councilmember Prince, seconded by Councilmember Perez. The, the ordinance be adopted as read. Any discussion? Okay, this requires a roll call. Council President Corman. Aye. Council Member Perez. Aye. Council Member Van. Aye. Council Member Benedetti. Aye. Council Member O'Halloran. Aye. Council Member McIrvin. Aye. And Council Member Prince. Aye. Roll call, Mr. Mayor, all ayes. Okay, motion carries. The final ordinance is regarding uh, business and occupation taxes uh, revisions. An ordinance of the City of Renton, Washington, amending Section 525.4 of the Renton Municipal Code to update and phase out the business and occupation tax annual cap with fixed caps through 2024 and replacing the cap starting in 2025 with a rate reduction for taxes paid by an individual taxpayer above $12 million in a given tax year, repealing definitions for inflation adjustment from uh, Rent Municipal Code 525-2P and 526-3D, providing for severability and establishing an effective date. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Council Member Halloran. I move the ordinance be adopted as read. Second. It's been moved by Council Member O'Halloran, second by Council Member Prince, that the ordinance be adopted as read. Any discussion? Okay, this second reading requires a roll call. Council President Corman. Aye. Council Member Perez. Aye. Council Member Vaughn. Aye. Council Member Benedetti. Aye. Council Member O'Halloran. Aye. Council Member McIrvin. Aye. Council Member Prince. Aye. Roll call, Mr. Mayor. All ayes. Okay, motion carries. Thank you. Next up is new business, Council President Corman. Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor, thank you. Um, several items. Uh, the first is a somewhat bittersweet reminder that uh, this evening is the, the last council meeting uh, with our esteemed colleague, Council Member Angelina Benedetti. And um, I just wanted to, to acknowledge that and, and for the uh, public that's watching the meeting, just to share that um, we were so fortunate to have um, Council Member Benedetti join us. Uh, she brought a wealth of experience as a longtime leader of, of King County Library System, as a longtime member of our Planning Commission and former chair of our Planning Commission. Um, as a, a board member for the Renton Foundation, as uh, somebody that worked hard on our downtown core plan, um, and numerous, numerous other uh, roles that she held for this community. Um, she was unanimously appointed a couple of years ago uh, to, um, to fill the position, uh, Mr. Mayor, that, that you had vacated. Um, she, um, she brought all this experience um, and uh, hit the ground running. Uh, Angelina, thank you so much. I, I think of you as very thoughtful and caring and, and highly effective in your role. Um, you really took to it quickly and you've been an enormous help for the council. Um, I wanna say I really enjoyed working with you. Um, I wish we'd had more time uh, to actually be uh, physically in the same building uh, to, um, to really get to spend more time but um it's been great having you um with us um and uh on behalf of the council i want to thank you for your service on behalf of the community the city of renton and the broader community thank you so much for your service and uh, there is a gift that 
at City Hall. I know you've been uh, told and you'll be able to drop by hopefully tomorrow to receive that. So thank you, Angelina. All right. Thank you, um, Randy. Yes, and then uh, Mr. Mayor, while I have the floor, um, I want to um, also acknowledge that um, I've, uh, I've been uh, honored to represent uh, the, the council as one of three members on the um, Regional Fire Authority. And um, at this point, I would like to make a motion to, um, to replace my position on there starting next year. Um, so I, I would move that uh, Valerie O'Halloran be appointed as the RFA board member, as an RFA board member from city council uh, starting service next year. Second. Okay, it's been moved by uh, Council President Corman, second by Council Member McGurvin, that Council Member O'Halloran um, take on the role as RFA board member starting next year. Um, any discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Can I, and Mr. Mayor, or Mr. Corman before, is that to fulfill your term? Um, well, yes and no. It's probably a good time for me <laughs> to let the council members know. So we, it, she, she would, I was thinking that, yes, it would be to replace my role on there. Um, I believe that the current code still um, discusses that every two years that we would um, that we would select three council members for these positions. So I will point out that uh, I've served for two years. So um, even if I were not retiring, oh, okay, we would want to address um, that position. Um, you know, obviously, an option would have been that I could have asked to be reappointed. Um, but um, the, the I, I have I, I had discussed uh, in here with council before um, that um, council member Perez and I have both uh, thought that it would be as as the two of us and council member McGurvin all joined the RFA in one block at the beginning of the year two years ago. It became apparent that it would be smoother if a you know, if one of the council members was rotated in every year. And so um, I had come forward with a proposal and I've been in contact with the city attorney who's trying to codify some of that language. And I know uh, Mr. Mayor that he's been working with you as well. That's that's not quite ready to go. So um, there's, there's issues that he's raised. He just wants to be thorough at, about uh, presumptions about, you know, what happens if people decide not to run for office again partway through and things like that and so that's still being worked on so uh, take that as a little bit of an update but yes I, I'd say strictly speaking she's taking the position that I'd had on that yes, sir. Thank um, you. so um, and thank you council for supporting that nomination um, so I'll just uh, complete my uh, new business uh, by talking about meetings and as a reminder to uh, the council and, and the public. Um, next week is a fifth Monday, so there are no meetings scheduled since it's the fifth Monday of the month. Um, and instead, we'll we'll uh, reconvene as a council in two weeks. And um, at that time, we will have a committee of the whole at at, at so December sixth, Monday, December sixth at six fifteen p.m. We will have a committee of the whole meeting via video conference. That's the allocation of lodging tax funding for 2022. And then that'll be followed at seven o'clock PM with the council meeting also via video conference. And um, let me just check, I think, I think that's it. I think that's all the new business I have. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Council Mayor Perez. No new business, Mr. Mayor. Council Member Van. Yes, thank you, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, 
on December 6, 2021, Monday at uh, 3 15 p.m. The Community Services Committee will have a meeting via video conference, and the topic on the agenda is recreational. Sorry, Recreation Division update on programs and holiday events. That's it, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Council Mayor Benedetti. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, at 2.15 on Monday, December 6th, the Utilities Committee will be meeting via video conference. There are three items on the agenda. The first is 2021 Surface Water Utility System Plan. The second is Change Order Number 1, to CAG-21-001 with SCI Infrastructure LLC for the Downtown Utility Improvement Project. And the third is Emerging Issues and Utilities. Um, thank you, Council President Corman. Uh, that was very kind of you to acknowledge this uh, bittersweet moment. And I wanna thank each of you for making the last two years such a privilege. Um, I, I'd said when, um, when I, I came to this position that, um, that serving on council was the highest form of community service that I could imagine. And um, it has been a delight to be with you for these last two years. And um, I wish everybody well going into the new year and the new council. I know it's, you have great work ahead. And um, I'm deeply grateful to you to the, to the kindness and the compassion and the professionalism of all of the people who are here on this call tonight who work for the city. Um, there is nobody better out there doing service for our community. And um, it's been great getting to know you better. So thank you very much. Thank you. Councilmember McGurvin. Nope, Councilmember Allen, sorry, I skipped over. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. On Monday, December the 6th at 4 p.m., the Finance Committee will be meeting via video conference. We have two items on the agenda, the 2022 salary table and emerging issues in finance. Thank you. Okay, now Councilmember McGurvin. Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor. Um, First, before I jump into any of the new business, I, I a bit of old business I want to make sure we didn't miss, and maybe staff can help me out with this. Um, with the public hearing right tonight, was additional question for staff is, did we need to take additional action to proceed with getting an appraisal done? Um, I want to make sure we didn't miss anything we need to do. We need to move to accept that. That's a good point. I believe a, a motion could be made to uh, to accept the petition and uh, request an appraisal be uh, performed. Okay, so I, I would so hope that we uh, accept the petition um, and, um, and request, uh, yeah, a, a, an appraisal for the property. A second. Okay, it's been moved by Councilmember McGurvin, second by Councilmember Corman, that um, we, what was it? The, uh, so, yeah, they, we uh, the, approve the petition and accept, uh, yeah. uh, or sorry, accept the petition and, um, approve uh, the uh, to provide appraisal. I did not do this very artfully. I'm sorry, but yeah. so, <laughs> what Jason said. Yeah, yeah accept the right. petition and direct a, uh, an appraisal be performed on the uh, vacated, uh, proposed vacated property. <laughs> oh, okay, there's a motion on floor to, uh, by Council Member Gervin and second by Council Member Foreman to accept the position and, um, and also request an appraisal. Any, Miss, and, and Mr. Yes. Mayor, if I could just speak to the motion, I just want to say to uh, to the uh, caller today, the person that called in on the public hearing, I, I would uh, just let let that individual know that uh, city will still get back to them, and um, if they yes. if they're not completely satisfied with the answer or whatever, they just merely need to get back in touch via email or in touch with your office and we this this will keep the process moving but it's not the end of the process so um so having having said that i think we should support this motion okay any other discussion okay all in favor signify by saying aye aye, aye. 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 opposed nay okay motion carries 
Thank you, Ms. Mayor, so, and, and yes. thank you, uh, Council President Corman, for that clarification. Fully within my intent, yeah, that there was an yes. issue, certainly we would have addressed it. So I appreciate the Council's consideration of that. Um, on to the thing I actually was going to do, which was to um, announce the committees coming up. So um, first, I did want to announce that the uh, Transportation Committee will be meeting at 5.30 p.m. on Monday, December 6th via video conference. There's one item on the agenda, and it's emerging issues in transportation. And then second, I would like to also announce that the Committee on Committees We'll be meeting just prior to that at 4.30 p.m. Uh, to discuss council, 2022 council committee assignments. Uh, and you all should have received a memo from staff today uh, to indicate your preferences for, for committees for next year, except for, of course, you, Council President Corbin. Um, but uh, we, we would certainly encourage you to fill that out. Uh, we'd love to take that feedback, and hopefully we can get everyone assigned on the, their, the committees, of, as many committees as you prefer to be on. Um, no more than three, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> please, 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 and thank you. And then finally, Ms. Um, uh, Ms. Mayor, I just wanted to very quickly echo the sentiments expressed by Council President Corman. He said it so beautifully uh, for Council, Council Member Benedict's departure. I won't even try to um, repeat it other than to say um, thank you for a, a short tenure but impactful tenure on this council. We'll miss you here, but I have no doubt, Council Member Benedict, you will continue to contribute to this committee as you did uh, prior to getting here. So thank you. And that's all, Mr. Mayor. All right, thank you. Councilor Prince. Yes, Mr. Mayor, no new business, um, but then as Ryan and Randy said, thank you, Andy, for your service to the community. All right, thank you. And uh, I would like to also echo um, Councilor Benedetti. It's, uh, we really appreciate your service and um, uh, you've served during some trying times. Um, I can tell you doing this job during COVID has been interesting, and I'm sure being a council member has been challenging. So um, thank you very much for your service. I'm sure that you will continue to uh, serve the community uh, down the road. So thank you very much. What is the wish of the council? Move we adjourn. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Councilmember Prince, second by Councilmember Corman, that we adjourn. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Have a great holiday, and we are adjourned.